put her in jail. Cartier Selin sent Meghan Markle huge bills using Invictus name for debit. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have found themselves at the center of a firestorm once again. This time, the controversy surrounds Meghan Markle's alleged misuse of the Invictus Games name for personal gain. Social media is abuzz with accusations, with many calling for Markle to be held accountable for her actions. The Invictus Games, founded by Prince Harry, are a sporting event for wounded, injured, and sick service personnel and veterans. The games aim to foster recovery, support, and friendship through the power of sport. The prestigious event relies heavily on donations and sponsorships to function. However, recent reports allege that Markle, during her time as a senior royal, used the Invictus Games name to incur significant expenses for personal use. The details are sketchy at this point, but rumors suggest hefty bills from luxury brands like Cartier and Selin were somehow linked to the Invictus Games. This has led to accusations that Markle was exploiting the charitable association of the Games for her own benefit. The allegations have sparked outrage, particularly amongst veterans who have benefited from the Invictus Games. Many veterans have expressed their disappointment on social media, feeling that Markle has betrayed the spirit of the games and disrespected the sacrifices made by service personnel. Adding fuel to the fire are reports that Markle refused to pay the aforementioned bills, leaving the charities associated with the Invictus Games to foot the sum. This has further tarnished Markle's image, painting a picture of someone more interested in personal gain than charitable endeavors. Prince Harry has not escaped criticism either. Many royal commentators are questioning his judgment in allowing Markle to potentially exploit the Invictus Games for personal reasons. The accusations raise concerns about the couple's commitment to genuine charitable work and their understanding of the importance of responsible use of charitable funds. The entire situation has cast a shadow over the Invictus Games, an event that holds immense significance for veterans. Veterans charities associated with the Games are likely to face greater scrutiny from donors in the aftermath of these allegations. This could potentially hinder their ability to raise funds and support veterans in need. There are, of course, alternative perspectives to consider. Some defend Markle, suggesting that the accusations are a smear campaign by the British tabloids, ever eager to paint the Sussexes in a negative light. They argue that without concrete evidence, judging Markle's intentions is unfair. However, the lack of transparency surrounding the alleged misuse of the Invictus Games name doesn't bode well for the Sussexes. If Markle is innocent, a clear and concise explanation is needed to quell the growing outrage. The truth behind these accusations may never be fully known. However, the damage to the Invictus Games reputation and Markle's public image has already been done. This controversy serves as a stark reminder of the importance of transparency and accountability, particularly when dealing with charitable endeavors. It also raises questions about the Sussexes commitment to genuine charitable work and their understanding of the weight of their titles and the public trust they hold.